you know, gosh, in a large part, kind of by accident. I think a lot of people who get into speaking or whatever it is that they want to do, maybe some people grew up like, I want to be a speaker growing up. And I was one of those kids growing up. Like I thought it'd be cool, but I never thought I could make a living doing it. But something happened to me that kind of allowed me to get pushed into sharing my message to make a long story painfully short. Um, growing up as a kid, I was bullied a lot. I had a speech impediment. I stuttered a lot and I had really crooked teeth. <laughs> Thank God for braces. However, you know, I was an easy target for the bullies. And as I got older, thinking that the bullies would grow up and learn how to behave in a way that's respectful and kind and compassionate, that didn't happen, at least in the workplaces that I found myself early in my career. One particular workplace was so just irredeemably toxic and awful. It's like a cesspool of negativity. And after dealing with this for such a long period of time, I ended up falling into a very deep depression. And again, I don't use that term like euphemistically. I mean, it sincerely, clinically depressed. And to make a long story short, one morning while driving to this incredibly toxic job, this is about probably close to 20 years ago, I said out loud, I'm done. I am done. And unfortunately, I wasn't saying that I was done with the job. It was a little bit darker than that. I made a decision that I was going to take my own life. And I share this story on stage and every single time when I share it, I always, um, I choke up a little bit because it's hard for me to get it out. It's hard for me that I ever got to that dark place based on how some random people at work treated me, but I did. I attempted suicide. I tried to drive my car off the I-405 freeway here in Los Angeles and attempt to make it look like an accident. Long story short, thankfully the guardrail held and I've been spending the past 20 years or close to it, not just trying to unpack what happened that moment, but more importantly, creating a workplace where that or work environment in our country, and dare I say the world, where these types of behaviors of bullying, harassment, discrimination, etc., are extinct from the American workplace. And I was kind of like on the hero's journey where it's like, you know, who am I to do this? I don't, I'm not trained in speaking. I don't have this type of stuff. And I decided to lean into learning how to do this so I could share my message. And um, thankfully, people have been open to it. And uh, as they say, the rest is history.